training protocol on it. Uh, we're doing this out of the offense position. So he receives a strike, and then he gives back a strike. Now he's the one doing the work here. Okay. okay, so the first one we did, he clears my stick going past my face here to the center. He hits with the butt. I defend with the left hand, and almost simultaneously, because he knows where my left hand is going to be, because the only other option is he smacks me in the face. So he can almost anticipate the presence of the left hand because mm -hmm. I'm not going to hit me. He releases, he clears there, and then he gets his hit. Okay, so real simple. He wants constant forward pressure moving in because when he's here, he gives forward the, forward the pressure. This is going to keep him slower. So, he's right. Yeah. Right. so he can keep my stick in play right here. Okay, so if I move this, he's going to claw at me. Gotcha. Okay, so that maintains the stick where it's going to be so he can clear it with the left hand, so full of pressure. Then he clears it with the left hand, and it's the same thing with the butt. As he gives that butt, he keeps that pressure going forward. Mm -hmm. So now when he slaps that hand off, it'll almost compromise my balance. Ah, okay. I didn't go too much into the detail on that because first thing in the morning I want everybody busting their teeth off. Okay, so there, there, clears, boom, and you got it. Nice. Okay, uh, change the side here because you'll be doing the pull off that way. And so on this side here, he hits here, and then he clears high and on the outside this way, but it's the same concept. The stick is going to go past my center. Okay. okay. So it travels past my center line. He gives the butt here, and then he reaches up, and he plucks the hand down. He pulls, and he steps. He checks the shoulder so I can't turn back, and then that's his hit right there. Ah, okay. Okay? So that's the, that was the first one. Okay. okay. So that's all going off of, we would call this our offense quadrant number one. It just goes to the center, and then I strike to the head. And then offense quadrant one on this side, it goes to the center, and I strike the head. Okay. So then we did uh, the next one we did was um, the uh, the stick trapping. Mm -hmm. So using using his stick against him. So he hits, he clears, he can go to the center, and he gives the butt strike. He knows where my left hand is going to be. Then he just raises this up and over, and he slams this into my core. Mm -hmm. Steps on the foot, and there's his hit. Right. Okay. So that was the offense one. If he, do, if he goes for the offense too, which is then he's going to take the stick and he's going to open it up to the outside, has the line here, brings it up and over, pushes it in, okay. and there's the line there. Okay. Then on the other side, it's the same two traps. The traps are identical. Okay. Because my uh, uh, go ahead, clear. Yeah. My stick is either going to go on top of my arm, the way it would go here, uh -huh. or it'll go. Yep. It'll go under my arm if he goes that way. Okay. So it's gotcha. the, same, same. the same movement. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, what do we do after that? We do those three, yeah, the three on the, if, uh, if he goes slam down. So I'll do those to you. So he gives me the hit here. So this one, the way I showed this, I only showed it um, from the quadrant going this way, mm -hmm. but it will work also going this way, okay? But it's only on the backhand side. So it's only on my, my, uh, my angle two counter. Gotcha, okay. okay? So he gives me the, the one, back here, go this way, he slams this down, so I hook his hand with the butt, uh -huh. and simultaneously I'm going to come up and over and I'm going to grab the left hand, so like you're lifting and clearing grouping, yes. same, same concept, mm -hmm. right? Um, first one, lift and clear, and I just continue to twist this up, and I just tie him up in a knot, there's the okay. elbow. Okay, sweet. Okay. okay, so you use the puño to lock that hand in. Yeah, so it can't go anywhere. Right, and then when you lift it and clear, you continue to follow through with that, correct? Just tie him in a knot. Okay. Right. And then yeah. so if we go this way now, uh, same thing here. If I go and clear the quadrant this way, it's the same technique, see? Mm -hmm. This way. The same hook. Mm -hmm. Got it. Sometimes the stick will come up and it'll tap you in the back of the mm -hmm. head, but he's got no control over that. Right. And there's your too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next one, take it this way. He slams it down again. I still hook it with the butt. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to move it this way and I'm going to pop the elbow up. I like to just stab him right in the groin, okay? But if you want to play a little bit more and have a little more fun with it, put it through, step, and there's the, okay, right? Uh, going to the other, the other direction with it, it's the same technique. If I go this way here, same thing, up and up that way, and compress it down there. And then the last one we did there was uh, the, uh, the three for one, going here, here. So now if I don't have the butt lock, I lift and clear and I just drag him into the strike and then just depending on what side of the body my stick goes to, if it goes mm -hmm. to this side, I got this one. Right. If it goes to this side and he's palm up, I've got that one. That's probably the more painful yes. of all of them. Or if the, uh, if the palm is kind of like turned sideways and I don't have that, mm -hmm. that much control on the wrist, I, sorry, I still have the shoulder lock. Got it. 
Okay? And then that works the same way if I strike you. It works the same way if I go that way. Right? So here, there, see? It's the same position. It doesn't matter where his stick is on that part. Okay. okay. So then another way, I didn't get to do this one, another way we can get to that position is going to be over here. If I give a strike to him and he hits back here, I can parry it up and over this way. Mm -hmm. You see? And now I'm going to bait the hand here. Check down on the stick. There's his hand there. Sweet. There's the position here for all those movements. Sweet. Okay. And then uh, one extra thing on the stick trapping, because as you guys start to go, go through it, mm -hmm. uh, if your partner isn't grippy on the hands, I think we talked about that before. I have to talk to a couple guys about it because some of the some of the systems you guys don't rip. Right. Right. You do covers this way. Mm -hmm. and that's fine. Right. We have answers for that. And then the one that uh, the, this here, if he doesn't grip my hand, he's not in control of my weapon. So I can just just start continue to hit. Right. Um, so think about this a little more realistically. If I have a stick and I'm He's trying to do the same thing to me. If we get close enough that where we can grab each other, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to grab each other. Right. Because I don't want that thing flying around cracking me. Yeah. Okay? Sure. So from that, from that context, being in here this way, when I give him this strike there, he's going to grip up. Okay? But now my guys, they know all these tricks. So sometimes it's hard to catch them with these, especially these stick traps. Because Jordan knows, when he feels me go like this, he knows what I'm going to do to him. So he's going to withdraw his uh -huh. hand. So what I want to do is make sure that my hand doesn't do this. Okay? This is not a threat to him anymore. So what he's, he might be thinking about punching, filling this hole. If he does that, I just use the stick to continue. So it's the same concept. Okay? So I don't really practice this one too much because it's, it's training you for failure. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I'm here, Jordan strikes back. Sorry. Good. Uh, if I go here and he releases, I really just want the butt to still be here, right? So this is this is the barrel of my gun. Okay. He's the bad guy. I don't want to go, hey, and then try to raise it back up and shoot him. Right? Okay. I want the threat there because I want that left hand to be worried about this. Yes. And not thinking about hitting. Okay. And so if he strikes there, then I can come uh, back. Okay. So two passes. It's actually you, you actually lured him to reach for the hand anyway. Yeah. Because yeah, when you when you go threat. for the puño, the threat, he had to he had to respect your your, your puño. Right. Exactly. So when he went to respect that, then you actually use the strike. Well, yeah, I did not get it. to talk about that earlier. Um, so uh, that pretty much goes for all of it on both sides. Okay. When you do it that way. So again, on this side, one more time here. Here, if I start, let's say, oh, I was coming off the butt. I wasn't even doing the offense. My bad. I'm just going off the offense. Okay. So if I go this way and I go here. I come back and he releases and I fail, I keep the butt mm -hmm. in range here. Okay? So this was another one I wanted to show. As I raise up for this one, I can try to trap here. And since my stick is over here, I don't want to keep just trying to drive in for the face here. So I can slash through here and I can set nice. this on the other side. Okay? And on the other side, same thing. If I'm here and I go for the trap and I fail and I give him this butt again, what's he focusing on? He's focusing on that right Yeah, now. not that. Uh -huh. So I'll bust him with his own weapon. Okay. Um, continue with that idea. Here, up and over. Here, hit him with his own weapon, and then you can set this arm here. Okay. So that's all just off of those two positions. On this side, going this way, or going this way, mm -hmm. and on this side, going this way, or going that way. Cool. Makes sense. Ooh, yes, it does. Awesome. Nice. Our safety strike is on this side. That's our right, So when I hit him, we're going to block. When I hit him, I'm, I'm not trying to, to hit him per se, but I am trying to hit through his weapon because I want that. I want him to feel that stimulus. Right? I want him to know what it feels like to, to brace against a real hit with that weapon. And so that's another thing, too, is we, we support all of our blocks because of that's how we strike. Right. Nice. We can do do more of like the impact blocking mm -hmm. with a little bit more of the body but, the body movement mm -hmm. on it, but that's that's the basic. Sure. And that's our go-to. And the other thing that that does for us is that so sets our more of the form. Yeah, here. forearm here, forearm here, yeah, and this also sets for our left hand to be able to do all of our holding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we also do other stuff here to where uh, we counter holds on our stick. So we're very we're very grippy. So if Jordan holds my stick, I go for his. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And I have. Yep. 
ways of getting mm -hmm. my weapon. And the neat thing with that, with uh, with those progressions, that was another thing I was going to cover today, but they cut me down to 45 minutes. Originally, I had two hours. But uh, the thing with those is it's pretty cool. Is we have 40 of these. Mm -hmm. But what I was talking about in the beginning, where. Uh, I talked about our, our system uses the quadrant reference, yeah, right? Exactly right? So if you understand how all those quadrants relate to each other in terms of where the sticks end up when you do it, it's not that hard to keep track of it. Okay. Because you only have a certain number, a limited number of things you can do from any position. How you get to the position is inconsequential. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So uh, if he holds my stick on the outside, right? This is one of our basic ones. We just call this the rollover. Chamber. I do this one. I know everybody's got that one, right? Um, from the underneath, oh, sorry, if he goes on the inside hole here, we roll over this way. Mm -hmm. Just strip that in. Over here, if he holds on the inside here, rolls over, it's the same position. Put the thumb strip. And over here, he holds on the outside here, lift it up and just roll over that way. And so then the fun thing with that is, we practice it, so just do spar one. We practice it out of our, out of our, our base of drilling. Oh, here. Okay? And then anytime Jordan wants to, Jordan can try to hold my stick. And when he holds my stick, I gotta hold his stick. And so that's another thing that we, we do a little bit differently. A lot of people's left hand is back here, mm -hmm. ours is up here. Back to one. Right? Because we need it in position to support, and then it needs to be close to the sticks so it's always responsive. Okay? It can always grip like this. Um, the reality of this is if he holds my stick, I'm probably not going to be able to hold his weapon before he gets a hit off. Okay, but that's fine because you just go like I'll go to, uh, hold on the outside quadrant on the other side. Other side here. If he holds the outside here and he goes for his hit, which is going to be a high hit, it's still the same same technique. So is it countering? Is it countering here? Right here? Is it countering a hold on my weapon? I have, I have two more. Or is it a disarm of the blood strike? The answer is yes. Because it's the same thing. Right. And then we got all, we also got a couple of fun ones. Mm -hmm. So watch this one. Yeah. Same thing. Just put that out like watch there. Right. So this is the this is the dummy one. Let's go here, here like that. And then we have it on the other. This is this is the this is the demo the money maker. So if he holds if he holds there on that side, I just go here. That way. Lock him up. I like that. Yeah. So we we wouldn't do that in, in like combatively. Mm -hmm. uh, hold there again. Combatively we would go, we would go there and we would slap that thing up and over and then, Yeah. But I like to do a show like that. Just let him go. Just and then blast him. Yeah. They just stand and they're like, oh shit. That's slick. I like that. That's cool. So but that all that all comes from our quadrant. Okay. Three. And then uh, we have the defense Four. quadrant. Five. One. Back. Six. One. Two. Step forward. Three. Six. That's four. Seven, and then and four on this side. One. Ten, nine, two. Three. Ah. Four. Okay. Eight, right. And so another thing Four's we'll down. do with it is Four. he's giving me a backhand, right? And so I have my disarms that I can score off the backhand Back. position. But Back. if I do a technique, this is a stick parry. Three. If I do a technique like Four. this, Four. here, stick parry. City five. Now I can turn a backhand into a forehand, and so I can score my disarms off the forehand. They're accessible if I do that movement. Just a little bit like that. But it's, it's, it's not necessarily like, a, we don't necessarily map it out and say like, do this to get to here, to get to here. It's like you're going to do whatever you do, but know whenever you've done what you've done, understand the position you arrived at. Right. One, 